Hi, I'm back again with more information on potty training for you. Um, this is Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with Play to Behave. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about substrates. What the heck do I mean by that? Well, all the different surfaces that your puppy needs to get used to relieving themselves on. So most of us just think about taking our puppy outside and they go on the grass, but there might be times that you need your puppy to use a puppy pad, go on gravel, cement, dirt, mulch, um, you name it, asphalt, different things, because if you're traveling, there might not be everything available to you that you normally want, or if it is, it might not be a place that you want to be taking your puppy. Secondly, at some point you might decide, oh, my dog's always gone outside in the yard, but you know what? I really want to put up a run with some gravel. It's going to be easier to clean for my puppy, so I'm going to do that now for my dog but your dog has never gone on gravel and then it's a real struggle to get them used to it. Also, if they're ever boarded, you don't know what kind of you know conditions they're gonna have there. Um, they might be in a run with cement and maybe they say to you, well, we have the outdoor grass. However, if it's pouring rain, they might keep them inside on the run. And so um, you're gonna want your puppy, you know, just re reduce some of their stress by letting them get used to different substrates when they're young. I had a dog once, Tobias, he's a corgi, and he really wanted privacy. So he would go in ground cover or bushes or in the trees off the trail, but he didn't want to go out in the open grass. So consider that. If your puppy's really struggling with going, maybe they need a little bit of privacy. So try different substrates. Now, what if you go out there and your puppy doesn't go? You're like, well, <laughs> he'll go on the grass, but he won't go on the gravel. I don't know what to do. You can always put something from the grass onto the gravel, like some stool, or you can, you know, maybe put a pee pad with some urine on it or something. If you can transfer that scent over there or have another dog go, then they will be more likely to go because they kind of need that smell in order to, um, some, some puppies at some times need that smell in order to prompt them to actually go. But just stand there and be boring and just wait. You can tell them to go potty if that's what you've been doing. Um, you don't have to give them treats and all that stuff. The idea of emptying your bladder and being more comfortable is enough of a reward. Um, so I haven't ever used treats. I know some people do. I'm not saying you can't do it, but you don't have to do that. Just stand there and be boring. Every time you move around, that's like playing a little game with your puppy in some ways, and you just want them to go. I wouldn't look at them, that's giving them attention. Just look away and out of the corner of your eye, you can tell if they're going or not and um, try different substrates. If that one day they won't go, you're saying go potty and you wait there for, you know, and I'm talking a couple minutes for a puppy, a couple minutes is a lifetime, right? So you're waiting a couple of minutes and they don't go, then take them over to where they normally do go and hopefully they will relieve themselves and keep trying. Don't give up, just keep trying. So eventually, maybe they're going to go there. As I said, if another dog is gone, that will help. Um, so when you go on a walk, or um, this is something that I would typically do. So in my yard earlier, now I have gravel because I have a run, but I didn't used to. So if I took a walk and I there was someone's house, you know, where they had gravel by the road or something, I would encourage my puppy to go there because I know for one thing, when I go to our training facility, that's all there is is gravel. You can't take the dogs on grass there. So once again, as I say, you might end up in a position where there's only certain types of substrate. So you want to get your puppy used to that. If this video is helpful to you, please like it and please subscribe to my channel so that you can hear more. I'm going to put out more little videos on potty training to help you with your puppy. All right. This is Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with Play to Behave. Thank you for listening.